G'day viewers, today I'm going to get this thing here going again. It's my Toshiba turntable with both 33 and 45 speed with a cassette deck, recording and everything else, radio with tape counter and LED indicator. It's got all your treble, bass, balance, everything, adjustments, even got a microphone. It's a model SM200. And the date, um, this is the original artist value too, by the way. I got this, I bought this, these speakers, and two big console record player speakers I got in, in, in my lounge room as a um, home theatre speakers, and they sound unreal. I'll do a video on them another day. So yeah, this is all healthy, this is all fine, this, all those speakers, whole lot, cost me $5 all up, all up but uh, an option. So that was a pretty good score. This had a little, um, uh, the motors in here, there's like a little rubber, um, uh, so sort of rubber grommet that it spins on instead of having a belt job. It has a, um, two sets of, um, rings that, that goes on the inside for slower speed and then moves something on the motor on the outside to go faster. So when I move this, yeah, it changes it. Well, that little, um, lever had a, that rubber thing was perished. And this was when you turn it and stop and you had to turn it again. Yeah, it was all... But I had stuck to the motor shaft and everything, so I was able to clean it up and scrape it off, lubricate the motor, and I put a new bit of rubber on it. And it works perfect now. And this, as usual, the belt was all perished. So I put a new belt on this, and the cassette player works again. The whole lot works too. Everything works on it. That's your speaker outputs, RCA, um, your RCA uh, plugs for speakers, so they'll probably go straight into an AV receiver, the way they design that. There's the FM antenna and the AM. It's a pretty weird setup. I always thought these are the speakers when I first got it, but that's the antenna and these are your speakers here. I think it's a 1984 model, pretty sure. Fell in the mid 80s anyway, there's no date in here. Yeah, the original speakers, I don't know where the hell they went, so they would have been good for them. Yeah. You can still get stylus for these never. The only thing I don't have are the speakers. Whoops. I'm trying to use the camera to close the manual. Yeah, the speakers I didn't get with this. And I don't have any records to test this out. But I do know this works perfectly because the stylus is in perfect condition. Yeah, there's my antenna thing I made. It's just all tucked away. I supposed to plug into the wall antenna up there. Speaker wires, I'll set them up later on, I'll get it going. Power cord. And yeah, spare RCA plug, camera one of these little things here. Not quite sure what they do, but I did know what they were for, I forgot. And the crystal earpiece, it all works really well. So yeah, and I'll set that up and I'll show you. Okay, viewers, it's all set up. It's got a local station tuned in. I'm going to turn it for board. This is what happens to the indicator. That's pretty cool. These are the speakers. Uh, Buddha, your mid range, that's just like a normal speaker. Your bass, and that's just like an acoustic thing. Not a speaker, but some sort of tone. The cardboard roll on it's inside it. It's got different layer things, and that just moves. I don't know what the hell it is, but it sounds bloody awesome. Yeah, they got some sort of coating on it too. Yeah, turn the radio down. Yeah. These speakers have got some sort of sticky waxy coating on them. Protect them. But they move in and the poles, the, the, uh, the, uh, poles of the, um, the base, back of whatever you call it, suspension is about inch movement. It's got a cast aluminium, the thick cast aluminium basket. And the voice coil magnet assembly unscrews and it's rebuildable. You can rewind it. And there's a, the front half, really old material, some sort of code, made in England. Yeah, it's a Celestion Studio Series, Diton 15, that must be the model. Celestion must be the brand. But yeah, made in England, so they're pretty old. This one's the same. Same setup as this. I can't find a date in that day. I'd say it'd be from the early 60s at least. 
just the build quality of this thing is amazing and the sound quality is really good. Bits has new stuff. So yeah, I'll take this off. I've got two, one for um, a male connector and one for a female connector. Okay, let's try tape. Oh, tape, I've got some shit at the copyright, so I won't play that here. It all works, the counter works. Yeah, the belt's a bit slippery. You can have a place to belt on this. <coughs> and yeah, there's a cat that'll show your knee, so it fucking stinks. So bear with me. So yeah. I don't know what that's in, must be in um, meters, no not meters, some centimeters or something that must be in. Okay, go fast forward. Numbers are moving. Numbers stop when I rewind. Keeps count of the tape. I've got synchronous recording, that's a function user to um, record player. Trebles forward, bass is forward, ba balance is right. Oh yeah, let's try some AM stations. I haven't even got an AM antenna plugged in, so I'm not going to get nothing. Oh, this is a TV antenna. Whoops, nearly fell over the bed. It's a TV antenna input here. I've got medium wave this side, so AM's going to go in here. So I'll just stop the camera and plug it in. Alright, viewers, I'm going to change something in. Pick up a distant station is good, this older stuff, so. I don't know what station that is, but... Cool sound. Yeah, someone's behind me sweeping up the cat litter, so I better be careful. Got a step. Anyway, I'll choose something else. Oops, that's loud. Also, good score when I got this. I do use this thing time to time, but I haven't used it lately because I got my little um, car head unit when I made up. But if I get some records somewhere along the line, I'll be definitely using this. What else have I got? Now look at the back. Get some light onto it. That screw there has been broken off, unfortunately. That's the only thing that's wrong with it. That screw was broken off. Yeah, two spare plugs, as I said. Just move this. Here's a back plate. There's the old Toshiba logo there. Made in Japan. Yeah. Cord get, cords all neatly folds up under here. Charlotte, stop meowing. Yeah, it all tucks up under there, nice and discreetly with the wiring. It's a nice design. So, yeah. And this thing here has a, um, that pinch roller in there. It has a heavy duty steel flywheel on it. These are ones are really good quality. So, yeah. That all works. Headphones work. Microphone works, as I said. Hey. Everything works on this. So, yeah. All right, so it's just doing pretty well. So, oh. And these are doing pretty well for their age, too. Nice sounding speakers, so thanks for watching.